You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters isn't gold. I tell myself I don't need it, 'cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it. I wanna be the life of the party. I wanna dance with somebody. Be ooh, 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 ooh. Una noche pensando en ti, espero que todo esté bien. Mirando al cielo and I hope you're doing the same Fumo un poco para tratar de sacarte de mi mente Bien difícil Falling in love with you cause you made it look so easy Pensando que me necesitabas sin lo permití Beber un poco para tratar de borrarte de mi mente Una noche más, tranquilo Una noche más, cómodo Una noche más, tranquilo guys welcome and welcome back to miss marie's also wake up to another vlog <laughs> why are you getting so comfortable <laughs> welcome to another vlog we want to welcome you to spend the day with us what are we gonna do today babe we're gonna go to the supermarket yeah and we're gonna drop off all the laundry from diani yeah of all our holiday washing to do. Mm -hmm. and didn't Scooch up, please. Wait. Yeah, okay. so do all the holiday clothes from the beach and all that. Just drop in as a place at TRM. Yeah, it's a, a very affordable laundromat at TRM that we're going to try out. This camera doesn't want to focus on you. And what are we also going to do? Our like big things like bed mm -hmm. covers and stuff that need to be done. That need a machine really. Well, you can do it by hand. But they need a machine really yeah and and then i have this new place that i want to try out for lunch oh yeah yeah and also there's a few things we want to pick along the way we'll bring you guys obviously we don't even have to say it right now and also oh i, I forgot we need eye drops luna stuck her nose in your eye didn't she yeah she licked my eyeball and I can feel the infection coming. I just feel it. Those of you who have like very affectionate pets, what do you do to stop them from just licking your body? Because for some reason she finds pleasure in that. <laughs> or whatever she does, I don't know. She does it sneaky though. Like it's not like she... It's not like she sits it. there for a second and then quickly she just comes over real quick like, and licks you. It's oh. Gotta get it. That's my window. She sees a window, she takes it. Yeah. And today she got my eyeball. I just feel like it's. I'm gonna get an infection, so I need to get something preventative for that. Yeah. So guys, uh, we don't want to make this intro too long. Let's get on with our day. It's 12 p.m. It's, what time is it? It's 12 now. We've had breakfast it's 12. In the house. <laughs> and I'm gonna go do some. It's, I hope we can do everything. Cause oh, I also want to like fix my phone. 
so my phone cover is broken it's just not looking nice i've been using Amon's phone to do pics because samsung galaxy s23 is just amazing but now that he's gonna leave i gotta fix mine okay let's bring you guys along oh guys did i tell you guys that Amon like burnt all my plants he did all of them i had to replace each and every one of them. if you guys have watched my previous vlogs you've seen my other plants none of them survived oh no only one of them survived i just i wonder how in my defense all the plants were <laughs> sick I just to bring over some really? fertilizer so i brought over some snow release fertilizer and then i did have the silly idea of sort of mixing it in water and then water in the middle and I think it might have scorched their roots but they were dying they were not dying but babe I wish I had a before picture because you're making me up to be some kind of plant murderer they were yes, very you, sick you did. and the leaves were falling off and they're going they're going yellow the leaves were going yellow tipped and then some of them were even brown from being dead no none of them was brown I think you just used it as an excuse a little to bit blame yellow you used it as an excuse to blame me for not taking care of your own plants guys guys i take care of my plants that's why i asked you to get me a fertilizer nah. that's why nah. i care about my plants nah. Nah. and and he okay they were they were sick but they were not dead it's like when you have a headache oh, now they were sick. Oh, no they were sick okay nah, i understand babe i agree they were sick but it's like they had a headache and then you came and introduced covid to them and they died they're old sick plants anyway <laughs> But guys, uh, that has a silver lining because, because so I got this really beautiful bamboo plant that's that much long. It's actually really tall, and I got that. I got that for like four hundred shillings. I think that was a fair deal. Uh, in my in, in my defense, not in my defense, I actually bargained for that because it's the same plant guy who got me all the other plants that somebody killed. <laughs> so he felt pity for me and gave me that but i think if you use my name when you go over there he still get you a nice discount let me know if you want to be plugged i will and i got these like really nice uh what would you call this babe oh this is still in the basin because it was dripping water the last time we watered it but that's spider that's a spider plant right spider plants, yeah, that's spider. i got these two beautiful spider plants and that vase was gifted to me by Liz. But then you guys should go and check out her channel. I'll link it somewhere in the description. That's my bestie. And also, uh, while this vase was from the plant guy, sold that to, to me for 500 shillings, um, 700 shillings. I thought that was really fair. And all the vases I have basically are from him. I also got this. Uh, what do you call this plant? Is that a monstera? What? Is that a, uh, no, I monstera. Don't know. don't know. I think it's monstera. That's right. That's it. Monstera. I, I so. got this monstera. It was also dripping water. That's why it's in a basin. But I think they're really cute. And most of these succulent plants for like a hundred shillings each. A hundred shillings, guys. The vase and the um, plates excluded. That's okay. All right. I know, babe. You're very, very anxious. You want to? You in a hurry? No, I'm fine. Okay. Because Guys, you had, he's fine. Word. Life after life, people, let's keep that <laughs> word. I'm sure it's so much that you're going to have. Guys, I'm plugging you. They, they would want to hear this. They would, they would. That's good. That's good. This is you a really give, nice plant. I you love. You don't give them those prices, though. That was because you bought before and you're getting yeah. replacement plants. They were, yeah. they were very good prices. Yeah, but still, he'll still, you guys, just go and say Mary sent you and you'll get a good discount. Let me know. I'll tell you guys where he's located in the next video if you guys are interested. The only plant that survived is this. This plant has been with me since, since, I don't know. It's been there for about a year now. Mother's tongue? Yeah. Call it mother's tongue? Mother's tongue. Mother's tongue. So we call it. You, no, we names. have a different name it's here. Two names. Um, oh my god, why am I forgetting what it's called? Snake plant, that's a snake yeah. plant. Or mother's tongue. Ask him the, who, who thinks it's called snake plant and who thinks it's called mother's tongue. Where you are, guys, in your country, what do you call this plant? Because here we call it a uh, snake plant, and Amon just said they call it mother's tongue. 
anyway let's get on with our day that's the much that's how much laundry we have and hopefully it's done today because well hopefully it's done today maybe not maybe not but let's see right you ready to leave let's go <laughs> why are you so quiet Fun. Hey guys, we're heading to the laundromat and I'm pleased to let you guys know that Eamon now trusts me to drive. <laughs> and that's a big deal, isn't it? Bye. Oh, I need to ask these people if Luna's bed is ready. There's a bed right there. Yeah. I think it's dry. Looks like it's hung up. at the laundromat we want to go in and drop the laundry so we can know what to do next i think a couple of the things that we want to do are just easier to do here at trm like there's shops for um basically everything we want hopefully they're open because today's easter monday um yeah today's easter monday so hopefully they're open the roads were fairly you know empty which is a good thing that means that there's no traffic anywhere that's nice <laughs> all right so guys there's something oh. that something that just no, that happened look. what the pot. oh the i've been pot. looking for well, that there. that's cool oh it's nice <laughs> we've been looking for that uh plate for the pot plants anyway so guys i have this question that i want to ask all the interracial couples out there especially if they're if one person is in africa and the other one is a caucasian person do you get when you go to the african country do you get asked for tips occasionally or like every time because guys there's no place that I have walked in with Eamon that somebody has not tried to get a tip or money out of Eamon using me. So they speak to me in Swahili or Shang or whatever language or Luo to ask him for money to give them. And it's like the most disrespectful thing anyone can do. Because all they just think um, Eamon is a money cow, cash cow, you know. It really, it really annoys me and it, it got to a point that I don't even tell him what they say because he already has a rough idea. It's really, it's, it's not nice. I don't know why people think that's cool. It's really not. And it's not just that. So those are like random people like, you know, when we were coming in at the check, at the checkpoint, the security person there asked me to ask him for money to give them. But we've also had like more subtle things like, you know, waitresses and waiters asking for tips through me or trying to to steal from us like the other day we went to this club we went to um last friday we went to what's this club's name embassy along thicker road and the waitress tried to steal a thousand shillings from us she thought i was too drunk and Eamon was too drunk but Eamon was not even drinking like okay let me zoom out Eamon wasn't even drinking all he had was a couple of 
Red Bulls because he was driving and he's been off alcohol for a while. But I was, I had like a couple of bottles of wine. I know it, I, I appeared drunk, but I wasn't. And then I asked her for the bill and she brought me a bill that had a thousand shillings more. And I knew it was intentional because she didn't bring me the receipt. So I asked her, how much is it? And she did some weird calculations in her, on her book in her book and then showed me that and then gave me the till number so I can pay. And I was like, no, I want to see the receipt. And I, cause I knew I've been to that club before and I knew that that's not the amount that they charge for all those things that she was showing me. And then when we did the calculate, when she came with the receipt that was billed at the counter, we realized it was a thousand shillings more. And then she didn't come back. She sent somebody else to bring us the bill because she knew what she had done. Like how, why do people normalize this? Just because he's white doesn't mean that he has all the money to waste. You know, it's just, it's just different economies. That's all. I, I don't understand why people are okay with this. Even before I dated a white person, I didn't have that mentality that they are cash cow. Like they have all this money that they have to waste. I don't know. I, I, I really don't even know how to like react to this anymore. I just look at them and shake my head. So let me know guys, how do you deal with people trying to con your person and think it's okay, you know, think that you are in on it and you should be in on it because they just think that, I think the mentality around it is I'm just uh, somebody that he's passing time with and we have nothing serious because if we are a family, he wouldn't expect me or they wouldn't expect me to spend my husband's money anyhow. Let me know, guys, how do you deal with this? How do you think I should deal with this, even if you're not in, a, in an interracial relationship? And if you're Kenyan, do you think this is an acceptable behavior? Let me know. Let's engage in the comment section and advise your girl here. Anyway, I'm not going to let that like ruin my day because every, every time I talk about it, I actually get proper upset. Like, why is it okay? Let me not let that ruin my day. So Eamon has taken the laundry to the laundromat. I don't want to go in there because I forgot to charge my phone and I got to let the car running. I got to let the, yeah, the car, the engine running so I can charge the camera. Sorry, not my phone, my camera. Because I need to shoot content for you guys regardless. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to sit here and charge the, the camera. That's it. Okay, we'll see you guys um, in our next destination or when we're doing the next thing we are here to do. Hey guys, so we're still sitting in the parking lot and I just realized I didn't tell you guys what name we decided on for the car. Yes? What's going on? I'm telling them we decided to choose Mel as the you're name. Talking, you're talking again, are you? <laughs> I'm talking to myself again. Papa. Do you, do, you, do you want got, anything? You got tweezers or anything? What? You know I can't get in the window. You're gonna close Try. it. I know you're gonna close it on me. <laughs> you're gonna put my face to the window. Yeah, You'll yeah, my hands me. are up here. You'll pin me. My hands are up here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can't. There you go. <laughs> Gross. Uh, I don't have any, any tweezers, babe. Sorry. So, like as I was saying before I was interrupted, we decided to take Mel as the name. Mel for short form for Marie, Avon and Luna. I, th I think that was like a really nice name. So, this is Mel. You guys meet Mel. Mel needs a little bit of maintenance and cleaning and all that. We've been so busy. Guys, time moves so fast. I keep looking at that. Anyway. Time moves so fast when you're having fun and we've been having a lot of fun and this is um I feel like this is the worst part of LDR because like when your partner is around you just want to squeeze everything um, for that period that he is or she is around just so like you get the most out of it and it's so frustrating because like I personally end up when I have so much to do with so little time I end up getting so overwhelmed like feeling just a little bit overwhelmed and all over the place and I have to take a few days off and that's just more time wasted and last time we decided we were gonna like have a list of things we need to do before the time is out um, but well we've only like done 
quarter of it so um as we as i was telling you guys before mel still needs a bit of maintenance and the one thing that she needs right now that well i need but she can give me and it's still broken is the stereo babe i love those earrings i just found it over here i've been looking for them it's yeah. from our night out on Isn't friday there? anyway the thing that mel needs really is for this stereo system to be fixed so for now we're just using a bt speaker that is down there <laughs> uh, well i am using because Eamon doesn't like music when he's driving i don't i don't just like music i just it's, it's when you're driving would you have music on when you're driving i do yeah just you do yeah yeah radio has uh, some nice music Sometimes podcasts, things like that. I feel like everything I knew about you is a lie, babe. Yeah, yeah probably. It's got, um, it's just driving in Nairobi is a bit intense, so I don't tend to like the stuff on. I'll be oh. alright now, after three weeks of doing it, I'll be fine, but initially it was stressful. When I come back over, yeah, it's a bit like, it's intense. Can you pop the bonnet again, please? I think I'm just going to try and pry this little um, fuse out and see if it's just the fuse that's blown for the radio. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he's trying to fix uh, Mel, fix this part of Mel. And guys, I, I know nothing about that kind of stuff. So I don't know what that has got to do with the bonnet. But let's see. Let's see if he'll fix it. Anyway, I'm thinking of buying an entirely different stereo with like speakers and all for Mel. So we'll see about that. Let's see if he can fix it for now. I'll let you guys know when he does. Uh huh, engineer, would you have to tell me about Mel? She's not well. She's unwell? She's not well. <gasps> oh my god, that no. doesn't sound good. She's a bit sick, alright. And uh, now that fuse is fine, so it could be. There might be a little fuse on the back of the actual mm. head unit for the, for the radio. Mm. So I'll maybe get someone. To look at it. Electrics to me to have a look at it, yeah. Yeah, well, it wasn't just a quick fix up, so. That's that, guys. Uh, I think the camera has about 30%. Now we can go in and see if we can get my phone fixed. This is the phone I'm talking about. Can you guys see how it, how ghetto it looks? And like, guys, this is an S20. It shouldn't look like this. <laughs> but I, it had a bad drop. Could you please? And, and and dress it for me she had a bad drop and the back is you know is not looking good so is the front this is a protector though so it will just be easier to pull that off and put a new one on but the back needs to be replaced as well this is the second time guys yeah. i don't know what's going on here and the camera is a little bit that i don't know why my camera keeps getting this actually let me zoom in for you guys anyone who has an idea of what this is about let me know see how the camera is a bit cloudy sorry yeah if you look at the camera bits it's a bit cloudy uh, on all the cameras the all four of them and i don't know why that happens because the touch looks okay to me so let me know in the comment section if you guys have an idea of why that keeps happening because the back of my phone is not the kind that you can like um it's not removable let's say so it's not removable easily it's glued together am i making sense perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to see if we'll, we'll get someone to fix that for us here at TRM. So let's go. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters and gold? I tell myself I don't. Hey guys, so we're here at LC Waikiki to shop for the husband to be. I've already got clothes here and like them, and I'm not even gonna try them on. I'm just getting replicas. Yeah. Just double, double up because they're nice. They're oh nice. no, I think you should look for something new, babe. Uh, you I'm might find something you like better. I'm gonna try all in one, babe. Yeah. I'm gonna try anything I have 
I'll try it on. All right, let's see. Let's see what you like. really good. You want to say it's up? Why would you want to say it's up? It's a little tight. It's really? Yeah. <laughs> I, babe, I actually think they look really nice. No. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on closer. Oh, what did you guys think? <laughs> it's my legs. Turn it out, turn out. <laughs> See, you've got nyash. <laughs> Do you want me to go a size up? I think they'd look nice if they were a little bit loose. <laughs> What's that size? 34.29 So should I go at 30? Oh come on, they look really nice <laughs> Yeah, I like those ones yeah. I like both pairs, that and that It's this t-shirt as well What do you think of your jeans, babe? No, I think they look cool What do you guys think? <laughs> I think they look cool <laughs> let me try let me try a size up okay, okay. give me another chance mm. you think of it Ow. The sun is going down looks good yeah, yeah. very and I have had enough <laughs> Yeah. I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't Ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocent <laughs> For now, but we have a dog and she cheered them That is a tough dog Very tough Oh, show the picture. <laughs> 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 Those ones are good. Comfy? A little tighter, but I think that's probably good. They'll probably loosen up. Yeah, with time. Uh, a, little, a little tighter. It's like you are a part of me. The mansion in my dreams. Now you won't be there And I just can't ignore That it won't Ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocence Things will never be the same again No, I got all that I need No need to apologize Guys, 
guys, we just got Luna this toy. And I think she's gonna lose her mind when we give it to her. <laughs> Quite hilarious. Hey guys, so we are back. Sorry guys, we're gonna turn this off. Is it fun? Alright. All right, hey guys, so we're back from our shopping spree slash laundromat slash errands in TRM. We're not back, we're still actually in the parking spot at TRM, but we have some decisions to make. So I got a Moko mattress a while ago and I thought that would be nice. Baby, what are you doing? What? <laughs> huh. But the mattress turned out to be so hard and uncomfortable like so hard especially for me because i can't sleep on my back comfortably my back is not flat so it, the arch makes it really uncomfortable for me for, for me to sleep so we've been thinking about getting a topper it's <laughs> too big in it the back the baby got back the butt. <laughs> It's too big, isn't it? <laughs> My nyash is too big. And then it gives this big gap in back. This big gap in the back doesn't get any support. So my spine is not happy. So we've so been looking at um, getting a mattress topper to make it a bit more comfortable for me. But we were not, well, we haven't really looked. So I saw Furniture Palace at TRM. They have Easter sales, so we decided to go in there and check out some. I don't have any footage of that, I forgot to film. But we got some samples of mattress and a mattress topper. So they only have one type of mattress topper and it's the memory foam, right? It's a memory foam. It's like, um, instead of it being one piece of the whole mattress topper, mm -hmm. it's like about 30 uh, squares that are about 250 by 250 all sewn in. And it's like a, it's like egg holder kind of design. It's like a little, it's like lump. It's, it, it's nice. It will make a difference, but I think there's better mattress toppers better options and it was oh. also just getting another mattress <laughs> so there's that and there's getting another mattress they have an easter sale going on today and the orthopedic mattress that they have that's really comfortable like super comfortable really nice um is going for fifty six thousand, and that is after that's 40 percent less so these mattresses are not cheap at all so we're really considering if we should get we should just get a mattress topper the toppers go for thirty thousand. And that's um that one in there was discounted twenty one. Oh yeah, for Easter and sales. The, and then the mattresses are down from like eighty down to fifty four or something like that. Yeah. And there's other, there's other ones in there for 180, 190. Yeah. yeah. They're really good. Honestly, honestly though, they're really good mattresses. I would definitely recommend if money is not a problem to you. <laughs> or if budgeting is not your thing. Or if it's within your budget, you know. But anyway, so for now we're going to, I, I, was, I wasn't able to fix my phone, but the Samsung shop here in TRM uh, have sent me, the attendant there has sent me to Garden City to see if my phone can get fixed today. So that's where we are heading. So we can leave my phone there getting fixed so, and go eat something because Bear is really hungry. Mm, it's obvious in your face. I'm actually starving. I don't normally get this hungry for some reason I'm really... We we, I'm a bit we did wobbly from week from hunger. We didn't have much for breakfast. So see you guys at Garden City. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. Why are you eating my food, babe? Nice. <laughs> Guys, we got a pizza offer where you get two pizzas at Art Cafe for like 1900 shillings. And then Eamon got like half and half of each. Okay. So the other half is takeaway. And it looks so delicious. Now I'm regretting having my choice. Anyway, I'm having spicy chicken with mashed potatoes and greens. I haven't really tried my food, so. 
that ties in. Is it? Good, yeah. I do like the art cafe. What do you call these mashed potatoes? They're always like super nice. Guys, my food is actually really, really, really nice. Um, I Delicious. Yeah. Art Cafe actually does really good pizza. Some of the pizza here is oh, it's pretty, you know, generic takeaway pizza. This is actually really nice. It is. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. We'll see you guys when I want yeah, to. I wanna get there. I wanna get there. Just take my hand. Yeah. I wanna get there. Which one? The Otho Plus? Nice. Yeah. That's Farmer. That's, that's not Otho Plus. That's Farmer. What do you think of that one? It's good. Try the Supernova. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's too soft. Okay. Oh, I like that. Wait, this is a topper. Ah, okay, okay. The yeah, other plus are good. Tomorrow, next day, maybe you sold yourself one. Is it on that one? Let me see. Do that this one. one? Yeah. That in also? That's kind of soft, softer. That's softer than the other plus. Uh -huh. You can probably find some black, white, and gold vases with gold lightning veins through it. What do you think? Yeah? Is it like that? For who? For you, for your house. Why do we need lightning vases? Because you like black, gold, and white mixed together. Yeah, but not. Okay. Let's go see what Panda Mart has for us. This is, I tell you what, this looks good. Hey guys, so we've finally come around to putting photos of us on the wall. And I came to China Square, and can you guys believe how much these things are? It's. it's it's so affordable. It's not cheap, but it's so affordable for these nice looking frames. I'm actually impressed. Sorry, I'm not I'm not at China Square, I'm at Panda Mart. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that. But these frames are so affordable. Can you guys this is two by two? This is um two a two size for seven hundred shillings. And they're like really beautiful. This is one thing I'm plugging you guys on. I'm actually quite impressed. How much are those? These are going for 450 shillings. 430, 680 for the big one and 250 for the small ones. And they are much nicer frames that what you get than what you get like for photography here, where they charge you a thousand shillings for an A4 size. I'm quite impressed. All we have to do now is to print our photos and there's bigger babe wait. This is not A2, this is A2. Wow, this is blowing my mind away. The A2 size is going for 2,000. Okay. You don't do that in the one you want. This is not A2, this is 12 by 16. But still it's pretty big. Hey, see one of those? Look at those. This comes as a frame. With Wi-Fi in it, that's stupid. <laughs> it's got it's ah oh yeah, it's it's a bit tacky as Eamon would call it. It's written Wi-Fi. Seen something nicer? Yeah, holiday shots. Ah nice. Yeah. For Diani so Diani shots. shots. Yeah. Oh these are these are really, really nice guys. I'm quite impressed. Look at this one. Look at this one, babe. Mm, I love, they are in love. Maybe we should take that one. Yeah. That only made me think of beach shots because it's got beach photos. Yeah. I'm just a sucker for advertising in that one. That's a really nice piece. 
Imagine Luna, me, you. Oh, I think we should get that one. Guys, I'm really, really impressed. Impressed. You guys should come to um, Panda Mart if you want these really beautiful frames. Why don't you get it by thousand? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Guys, I've really, really been wanting one of these. What's this for? Outdoor? With the pergola. I've always wanted one of these seats. I think this is like really nice. How much for that? No, no, nothing. It's your color, though. Yeah, it's definitely my color. Here, here's the price. Yeah. Right here. How much is that? Only 28,600. 28,000. This is cheaper than that. That's, this is more expensive than that. Shocker. You want to sit on it and see? Maybe. Yeah. Straight on. Woohoo! Moment of truth. Oh. It's nice, oh, it's isn't good. it? Oh, it's very nice. It is. <laughs> yeah. With Luna on, yeah. It's really nice. I didn't know they sell these here. Is that comfy for you? <laughs> Guys, so we're just casually walking past this um, aisle because we're looking for what are we looking for babe the exit <laughs> guys we're looking for a toilet brush and guess what I came across randomly so guys we've randomly come across this mini test perfect mommy pregnancy test and guess how much they are worth 20 shillings 20 shillings guys this is so cheap how many should, how many should be don't be in a rush before you flush <laughs> how many should we take uh, so we don't need them anymore do we babe yeah, take it, take it <laughs> how many you pick you pick how many times how many you think we will need to test three, three. only <laughs> Why are we picking pregnancy tests, babe? Uh, I don't know. Tell us. Tell this, them. Did you break this? <laughs> okay. What are you sweeping for? How many? Why? Why? Amen. Why? It's over here. But why? <laughs> are you that tired? Hey. Hey guys. Are you that tired? I'm a bit tired, yeah. Oh yeah. Hey guys. We are I'm also tired. We've been walking around Panda Mart for how long? I think it was like three lifetimes. <laughs> so I don't For about three or four hours. And then we only apparently there's a second floor coming soon. We didn't even see the first floor fully. It's huge. It's huge. It's packed and it's, it's huge. We didn't get the one thing we really came for, which is a mini tripod for the camera. We didn't, like, they don't have that stocked up, that's why. But I'd say it was a good day, it was a good shop. I don't think we'll do a haul, maybe we will. Actually, you know what, we're going to do a haul for everything that we got here at Panda Mart. I think their prices are quite reasonable and I would definitely recommend that you come try them out, especially if you're a big fan of China Square. Panda Mart is um a replica of china square yeah it's like it's like someone with a lot of money in, mm. in nairobi yeah decided seeing china square and was like cracker of an idea and has totally copied it but they made it bigger and they, it kind of seems a bit more of everything yeah, yeah it's true they have a variety of everything that china square has 
I think you guys should really really try them out so for now we're gonna go home probably pass by somewhere and get a smoothie what do you want yeah smoothie be nice yeah and go home we didn't manage to get any mattress <laughs> we didn't get we didn't get a mattress topper but tomorrow uh being tuesday i think we will have more options to choose from like you know go to physical stores and look at stuff and maybe get some so we'll see you guys tomorrow at the mattress shops actually we'll probably see you guys in the house when we are doing a mini haul of everything we got see you guys bye Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence So we are back we are back home finally and it's hilarious that this is Luna's reaction every time we come back home she's always so happy to see us <laughs> especially daddy hi Lunzi <laughs> we were only gone for like half a day we left the house at 12 and this is her reaction she's gonna miss him so so much who's that yeah. See somebody? <laughs> anyway guys, I can't wait to show Luna the new toy that we got her. Hey guys, so we're back home. I want to show you guys a few things that we got. Um, like I told you guys, we're going to get these frames. I think this is my best. I think it's like literally the cutest. The cutest of all of them but then we got this 12 by 16 inches frame why is everyone looking at me <laughs> and uh, we got i'm showing everybody including you guys my sister and steph and luna is just staring at me we also got these two a four size frames like them and then we got these wait this is not a4 is that a4 yeah we'll measure up to that wall to that one it's definitely not it's bigger slightly yeah so it's it's not a4, a4 picture this how old is a4 and this is 13 by 18 and i like this is a5 yeah this is a5 we got also these A5 friends, two of them. That's gonna go on the gallery wall behind me. I think that's all we got. Uh, I got a mouse <laughs> that I've been wanting for a while actually, even before the new laptop. This is my favorite piece that we got. You wanna, you wanna unwrap it for me, babe? Yeah, no, I need to offer Okay. It's this really cute ceramic um, teapot. This is a teapot. It's a teapot. Yeah. It's not a kettle. It's not a kettle. It's a teapot. Why is it not a kettle? Teapot. You put hot water into. Kettle. You boil the water in. It's different, yeah. Yeah. There's electric kettle and then there's kettle. 
Yeah, so you're boiling water in the kettle, but you don't put tea bags in the kettle and make tea, do you? You put boiling water, tea leaves in a teapot and, and brew tea. Well, I grew up thinking anything that looks like this is a kettle. I know. Right? For sure. Yeah, but it's a teapot because it's for making tea. Yeah. You're not going to put that on the fire, are you, and light it up and heat boil water in it? No. Exactly, so that's a teapot. It's microwavable. Mm. Yeah, you can go, you can go for it. Oven, freezer, microwave, dishwasher. For real? You know you can lie. I don't lie. See, oven, sure. microwave, freezer, dishwasher. For once, you're telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also written a teapot, so I think you're right. I think, yeah. This is nice. I love it. I grew up like with a brown one. My mom, my mom used to have a brown set. Having a Bigger. Flower. Yeah. Yes. It was really nice. <laughs> That was a, chi a proper china dog. It wasn't like this. I love this one. And, and a, a, a nice saucer. And a nice cup. I asked anyone if he wanted one. He said no. Um, that's okay. Don't use mine though. For coffee. I love it. What else did we get, babe? Um, what's this? That's a toilet brush. Oh, this is a toilet brush for our, for our spare bedroom. Now for the common bathroom. We got... I got myself a little makeup mirror for the car. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I got these. I don't really have any. Luna has chewed through all my hair ties and clips. Hopefully she doesn't get her hands on these. I pause on these ones. I got two of these. Um, I got this scandalous pregnancy test kit. <laughs> Are you looking at me like that? Oh yeah. So uh, we got this mini shaver. Eamon got it for me really because I've never really used a shaver, but everything else I use gives me razor bands. So I'm gonna try these. Hopefully, no razor bands. No, sir. What did you send me? For? No. My teapot has a top. How nice. Hey, that's not all we got. That's all we got from Panda Mart. Oh, this is all we got from Panda Mart, but we shopped more than that. Yeah, there's other things. Here, I'll, I'll throw it to you. You catch it. Yeah? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay. I, I, from the Maasai Market Man at TRM, item number one. Item number one, this is um, a brass, what do you call this thing? Um, Bracelet. Thank you very much. With the shells on it. I really liked it. <laughs> it's not food, Luna. This is a jewelry box. You know what, This for this I'm going to come closer. Can you guys see the detail on this? It's so lovely. So Luna cannot get any more of my jewelry and eat it and eat them. And I, I'm saying Luna because I don't want to mention names, but there's more than one woman in this house and I know the rest of them do take my jewelry. But you know, I'll be locking it. We got this for um eight hundred shillings from this guy at TRM. What was Ale his name? Alex. Alex. Alex at TRM. I think he's been we've been buying our Maasai cultural Kenyan stuff from him and he's quite affordable in my opinion because we got this and oops and this bag this bag right here for 800 shillings too good leather actually real leather what else what did you get to the other one you two have yeah we, no these are not even mine not, not even this one is not mine those are Amon's. <laughs> and Luna cheered through Amon's pair like this. Uh, and she's looking at me like, can I have those too? <laughs> and he really loved this because they're quite comfortable. We went to cost with them. And so we, we had to get a replacement, although this was the very last pair that he had. So I don't know if you can get this, but they're quite comfortable. Do you want to tell them that they're really comfortable and you like them? Yeah. You could say that. <laughs> so, these are really comfortable and I like them. <laughs> and the old studio is funny. They're good. They've got this infamous 
sort of like Kenyan toe hold thing that happens. Mm -hmm. But because it's got so much material all here, all around here, it actually is real snug. Is that even focusing on me? It's yeah. real snug and they just feel real comfortable. Apart from the uh, toe taking a bit of breaking in, <laughs> but they're very comfortable. I, he liked them the first time, so that was the last pair that the guy had. But you know, you can just swing by if you might wanna get one like that and ask him. <laughs> now, guys, remember that toy that I showed you guys earlier on in the video? It's time to test it. It's Luna time. Oi, <laughs> no. Here. Luna already sit. knows that he has sit. something for her. Sit. Okay, okay, you ready? <laughs> this is yours. I'll put it on straight away or I'll play with it first. Um you could put it on straight away. Put it on straight away. You ready? Did you say did you turn it on? <laughs> Luna, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luna, what is that? Luna. <laughs> Luna, it's not Luna, what did you do to the baby? <laughs> Eat it. She's gonna chew through that one too. Luna, Luna, don't take the baby. Luna, <laughs> Luna, come on. Why are you taking her? <laughs> Lindsay, it's not for eating. It's dead. That's it. Taking turns, not a lesson learned. Who'd imagined I would crash and burn? But you got me there, so I'm declaring a silent war. Can't do it anymore. This is not what I was asking for. Was it always meant to be a dream? No